Hey YouTube, what's going on? James Monty here. Today I want to do a little um, information, some review on this Roxio Game Cap and their new Roxio Game Cap HD Pro. Uh, as a lot of you know, I've been using the Roxio Game Cap for about the last year or so. I've been putting up a lot of videos, decent quality uh, for YouTube, <laughs> easy to use was pretty good. I, I you know normally retailed I think for like a hundred bucks. You could get it with coupons and discounts. I think I got mine for like sixty bucks shipped. Not bad. But this is the new one, and I'm also trying out a new uh, new phone camera here. If you tell me how this looks, I don't know how it's gonna look. This is the uh, HD Pro. Now, what makes this one different? <clears throat> Let me get down here a little bit closer. Um, on your normal Roxio Game Cap, it is component cable in, in, component cable out, little USB connector there, connects to your computer, which uh, you captured on the computer. Records in 480p, and like I said, you still play in 1080, but you record and yeah. So, the new one, the HD Pro, still has the component in, component out, little USB thing to connect to the computer, but this um, HDMI in and out, and it records up to 1080. I think uh, if you've watched any of my last few videos, I've been recording in a. It's got a little slider bar, which I'll show you in the capture program here in a minute. Uh, so I've been running it on about medium, so it's capturing in 720. And that's all I'm going to render it out in. It's it's. I really don't see much of a point to. Uh, capture it and anything else. So we got these two devices and just kind of give you an idea how about how big these things are. This is it compared to the like a regular Xbox game. And you have to pardon the uh, red uh, tablecloth and the Christmas shit because you know it's Christmas time and well when you're married and got kids you gotta have that crap. <laughs> and you can kind of see the difference between the device. Not really anything bigger than the old one. Yeah, so that's it. So um, now let's get to uh, maybe some gameplay footage and some show you something about the captured uh, program that comes with it. Okay, so when you get all the software installed for the Roxio Game Cap. You get this little shortcut on your desktop here, and once you click that, it brings up this screen. <clears throat> it gives you the option to edit and share or capture. Pretty simple, easy to understand. So, when you hit capture, and I've already got it up and running here. I'll let this load up my slow computer. Um, <clears throat> you'll see right here in the preview screen what is on your Xbox. And currently, I'm just in the home screen. Uh, let's see here. Let's grab a controller. Kind of shows you, yeah, you can, you know, move stuff around. Yeah, there's me. Uh, so anyway, it just kind of shows you what's on your, uh, you know, what, uh, you know, preview of what's on your Xbox. It's delayed by a few seconds, so it's not something you can really, like, play off or anything, but does, you know, kind of let you know what's going on. Um, when you want to start capture, just a matter of clicking a little button here to start the capture. Uh, also has an option to live stream. Now, I, I really don't have fast enough, um upload speed on my internet to live stream but it is an option if you have at least I believe minimum is 1.5 you know megabits per second up or something like that uh, two's recommended five if you want to stream in 720 I barely get one with my internet service so yeah anyway um, shows you the inputs HDMI this is the little slider I was talking about to change your quality of your capture so you captured some video and you want to edit that out and put it on YouTube or whatever you would like to share it on. Uh, the edit and share button brings up the edit program which is the Roxio Video Wave. Uh, I actually have a tutorial on using this on my channel. Now it's for the software that comes with the regular Roxio Game Cap. But from everything I can tell, it is almost identical. There's a few little minor changes, but for the most part, identical. Now, this is some capture that I got yesterday. 
of messing around with the new Expo on Battlefield 3. So we'll play a little bit of this. Yeah, it was loud. <laughs> but uh, you have your preview screen here. This is your editing bar. And again, if you want to know uh, how to do all the cuts and edits and so on and so forth, um, just let me know. I'll be glad to uh, possibly do another video, or you can check the link in the description. Or I may put an annotation on the screen, you know, maybe somewhere up in here once I load this video up to YouTube. So that's how you capture, that's how you edit. So how does this stuff look and how do the two compare? Let's take a look at that. All right, now for some gameplay video. And of course, <laughs> the only thing I could find that I had left on my computer was this little short clip of Bad Company 2, but that's all right. Now, this is recorded with my original Roxio game cap. Uh, you know, it doesn't look bad. You can, you can, you know, you can see what's going on. It's... Uh, kind of standard def but uh, if you notice if you really focus on like the lettering and the text and stuff on the page and just the overall textures and stuff of the clip you'll you'll see that it's just not as crisp um, as it should be and you know even though like I said the Roxio game capture is good you know if you're just getting started pretty much for the price anymore it's really it's not worth it Especially when you see this. Now this is some Battlefield 3 captured with the HD Pro. And I think what you'll find is that just the, you know, everything about it is a little crisper, a little cleaner. Uh, the text is a lot easier to read. The colors are more vibrant. You see a lot of the little things that you didn't with the HD, or didn't see with the regular game cap, that you do see with the HD Pro. And for the difference in price anymore, Save up a little bit more money, spend the extra bucks, get the HD Pro. You're not going to be disappointed. It's a great device. Um, hopefully this answers any questions that anybody has. If, of course, if you've got anything else, uh, just let me know. I'll be glad to answer them. Glad, glad to share my experiences and what I had with it. And uh, as always, folks, thanks for watching.